Hey guys, so we haven't been active on YouTube for a little while, so we thought we'd come back at you with something awesome. We are here at BBC Introducer Studios where we are going to be playing three live tracks and an interview. So tune in, enjoy the show. Here we go. have been live in session on BBC Radio Suffolk. It's been so nice to have a band and it's been a long time. And because we had a band in, we couldn't all fit to do an interview in the studio, in the live room. So we're now in the studio to have a little chat about the set and about the manifest. I've never met them before, so hello. 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 Welcome to the show. It's really, really nice to meet you. I feel like it's a long time coming and I'm really excited to get to know who the manifest is. Um, starting off with you, yes. I'm pointing at you. Okay. Do you want to introduce yourself, drummer? Hi, I'm Scott King and I'm the drummer of the manifest. So tell me about how the manifest was formed as a band. So me and Curtis met, met um, I'd say, about two years ago. And um, we got chatting about that he was a guitarist and drummer. We weren't really doing much at the time. Well, I was actually playing Captain America and he was playing Thor. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. But then so time went on and uh, Nathan and um, Curtis got together. And uh, they just started jamming out. And then I got a message from Curtis. I'd actually completely quit the drums. I'd sold my kit. I no was, way. Uh, yeah, I was done. Um, you know what it's like when you're trying to start bands? You know, some people don't have that that same passion as you do and drive. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and I just found that as soon as I just had a conversation with Curtis, within within two minutes of talking to him, I just knew I wanted to be in a band. It wasn't even like a, okay, well, we'll see how we'll things go. I was yeah. like, I literally was like, you know, I'm there. I was like, but I have sold my drum kit. Nathan was like, I have one. You've got no excuse. Oh, perfect. Let's go. You know, so it was, uh, it, oh, it was, it was great. That's so wholesome. And this was only in 2022. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Where did you pick up the other two from? <laughs> so I've been in and out of bands with Adam for years. Um, I've got to say, he's literally been the most loyal human being to me like since since I've started music. Um, he's been in and out of bands with me constantly. And um, originally, we called him in to be a bass player. Um, and Sorry. there was, uh, there, 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 yeah, there was someone else that came for an interview, but we, we quickly realised what he didn't fit. Um, and Adam came in and, and just, yeah, fitted straight in. It was nice, great. love that. What I love about your uploader profile, we, we, producer Claire, we love a good profile because sometimes they literally have nothing on there. And sometimes we get life stories. And sometimes it just gives an essence of, a bunch of people that you really want to meet. And in the second sentence of your one, it says, determined with a Brit Award goal and passion to motivate and inspire other musicians that may have given up on their dreams of success. we got to talk about that Brit Award goal. It's such a... I mean, it seems massive, but it's such a, like really important i think goal 100%. to want to achieve tell me a little bit about that thought well it's just it comes from our name the manifest you know that's what we do we we, we manifest everything that we do the manifest live in session on bbc radio suffolk they are currently in the live room performing three tracks for us so we should get into one more song <laughs> It's a once in a lifetime event So baby, please don't lose it I know you know how much this means to me I've had you back at all times I thought you had mine It kind of shows you don't trust me When you said I was dying I didn't die It's not right So here we are now Looking out of the story How did it ever end? Now you played us an exclusive new track. Let's talk about your last song. It was really good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I feel like it took the other two songs, it like was next level. Okay, I love it. Yeah, well that's what we try and do. It's, 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 it's great that you said that because what we try and do with everything we do, we always try and beat it. We don't, what we don't want, we don't want an okay song. You know, we always, 
we always want to feel good about what we're doing, what we're playing, but at the same time, it has to beat the one before. That's the kind of, and I feel like by doing that, the the, the the listeners, it's never it's never going to get boring. It's never going to get stagnant to the listener. Well, thank you so much for coming. It was really nice to meet all five of you. I know you two speak, but there are, there are five of them. There's actually more people in the studio, um, so shout out to them. And also, I want to know, are you coming to the gig on the 24th of June at the Werry Hotel in Alton Broad? Check my diary, all done. 25th of June. 24th of June. 24th you know of what? June. I'm, I'm busy every weekend in June, apart from that one. Love yes. that. Well, there you go. There no we go. Dad. I've said it on the radio now. So great to meet you. And you. Thank you so much for coming and bringing all the energy and your beautiful vocals to the live Thank room. I look forward to seeing that manifested on a, on a stage, maybe a pop-up stage, or your own headline uh, gig as well.